Okay, so Inventables.com sent me the x carve CNC machine for free in exchange for my honest review feedback. So I'm going to be talking about the assembly process, uh, my first time experience using the CNC, and also I guess just a general overview of what I think about the machine. So I guess to start with the, the, the assembly. Um, just as a note, this is my first time using a CNC, and it's also my first time assembling any sort of machine like it. So keep that in mind. Uh, with the assembly process, all of the instructions are online at Inventables.com, which I think is pretty smart. They have tons of photos for all of the, all of the different steps, and they even have a few videos uh, walking you through most of the steps, which I thought was pretty helpful. Um, I thought the instructions were pretty clear, but they definitely need some improvement on some of the steps. At one point, I did have to contact Inventables uh, customer service to clear up one of the steps just because I was way off. <laughs> But uh, the customer service, they are very um, responsive and friendly and also very informative. So that's always a plus. Um, now, for the assembly, it did take me three and a half days to put it together. I've talked to some of the other YouTubers and they're able to put theirs together, you know, six to eight hours. But I wasn't able to fly through it like that. Uh, it's probably my lack of experience with this sort of thing. But regardless, at the end of the day, I was able to get it done and working on the first time, so it can be done. <laughs> now there are a few things that, that you're going to have to do that I thought were just a little bit out of, out of the norm. You will have to tap your own holes. They provide you with the, with the screwdriver to do that, but I did find that kind of difficult. And then there's also a few soldering things over in the wiring section. Uh, I'd never soldered before, so I had my husband show me once. It's very simple, but you do have to have the right equipment in order to do it. So that's nothing big, it's just something I wanted to mention. Now, something that I didn't like that was kind of frustrating for me right off the bat was after I put my, my machine together and I was trying to get something carving, I pulled out these clamps to clamp down, that come with it, to clamp down my piece of material, which is an inch and a half thick. And all the hardware on this machine is metric. And since I'm in the States, my hardware stores don't have a large assortment of metric things. So I was pretty much just relying on the hardware that they provided. And all of the, all of the screws were just way too shallow for inch and a half material to be clamping it down. So I had to make my own clamps right off the bat in order to uh, compensate for that. It's, not, it's nothing big, but I did find it a little frustrating. All right, so the actual carving experience. This was actually my fifth or I think sixth attempt at doing this. And all of the mistakes were completely user error. So it was all my fault and not the machines. Uh, the first few times, it was software, me getting familiar with the software. I ended up starting the uh, program at the wrong location. So ended up making the cut off center. Uh, that was the first two times. Then the third time, I get about 50% the way through, and I, I was sucking up the sawdust with the shop vac, and the spindle carriage, the uh, Z carriage ended up moving, and then setting down on the hose just very quickly, and I didn't realize it. Ended up throwing it off course and cutting up my design. So that was the third attempt. Then the next two attempts, um, it ended up, the machine stopped carving about 42 and 46% the way through. And I couldn't figure out what, what was going wrong because the spindle was still going, the motor was still on. It just literally stopped in its path and wouldn't continue on, it, on its carve. So the second time, I noticed that my screen was black and my computer had gone into hibernation mode. Um, I didn't originally catch it just because I, didn't, I wasn't looking at my computer, so I didn't realize that it hadn't been black the whole time. So whenever it went into hibernation mode, it killed the program talking to, to, the, to the spindle, of course. And, so it, and there's no way to restart it. So I ended up just having to start over. So that's whenever I made this one. And that one was able to be completed with no errors. Uh, I just made sure to move the mouse about once every hour to make sure that it, it didn't shut off. And I'm pretty happy with it. I think that it cuts pretty well. Uh, the only thing that I can't figure out that I'm still having problems with is the depth of the cut. I wanted this to be only an eighth of an inch deep. However, it turned out to be a quarter. And there's an input where you can either do a slider or you can put it in as decibel form. So I ended up telling it that I want it to be a, a 0.125 depth 
but again, it came out to be a quarter. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong there, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. And that's nothing, nothing too big to sweat. So overall, um, you know, I've never used a different CNC machine, so I can't give you a comparison. But I can tell you that I'm very impressed with it, and I'm also very happy that I have one. Um, even though it's very large, this is the meter by meter, they do make a much smaller one. So uh, if you don't want such a large one, they do have a different option. But um, I've heard a little bit of feedback saying that people are intimidated by the uh, assembly process. And all I can really say about that is uh, I've never done anything like this before to where I've had to assemble such an in-depth machine and I was able to get through it. So if you are intimidated by it, I say just still get one and then just take it slow like I did. But yes, overall I like it and I give it a thumbs up. Um, I think that it's sturdy and stable and they used high quality for the actual parts. So yeah, that's it. I hope that you find this uh, helpful and thanks again to Inventables.com. I will leave you a link to their website in the description of the video if you want to check them out. Also, if you want to see how I made the shop stool using my CNC, then I will leave you a link in the description to that video as well. So, y'all take care and I'll see you soon.